If you want a good time, if you want a good time, let me hear you say, hey, everybody say, hey. If you want a good time, if you want a good time, let me hear you say, hey, everybody say, hey. If you want a good time, if you want a good time, let me hear you say, hey, everybody say, hey. If you want a good time, if you want a good time, give up, give up, give up, give up, give up, give up. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to October 31, my mother's birthday. Happy birthday, Mom. Thank you for giving me life. Thank you for the sacrifices that you made to get me through my teenage years so that I could stand on my own two feet. I've got a song which you would be very proud of if you were alive at the end of this video, which is now just being new, my new theme song. Guys, we're 13 points away from a red October. 13 points away. I really, really, really hope the trade works out because it started, as you all know, at the very beginning of the month, looking for a red close, a close below 57.57 at the end of October being today. We've not even come close to that during the entire month other than the initial dip that we had in the very beginning of the month, which I'll show you. Some of you are in the trade for $3 credit. Some are you in for $3.50. Some of you are in multiple different strikes that are higher as we've adjusted over the past few weeks. $4 credit. John sent me a message yesterday. He's into one that he just got into for $4.50 credit which when you go out and do your calculations, $4.50, he works out, that's a 900% return on your credit spread. This is what we do, people. This is the reason I got this message, which I know a lot of you can already figure out who this is, but I've, I've done the decency to block that out. Tim, I topped a million dollars this month, all because of you. I need to buy you a great steak dinner, your favorite wine, whatever. You absolutely reinvigorated my trading life. Thank you. I actually have a gift for him. I hope he accepts it, but it's all based on my entire philosophy as to why you do this. I've done this video twice already. It was a little bit too... Too melancholy for anybody to accept, but here you go. Today is Thursday, so at the end of today, we'll be putting that red X in this box. These are the days left in the rest of the year. This is how many years you have, assuming you live to be 80 years old, where you can't fucking do anything when you're 80. I've blocked out 52 of them already. These are the weeks that you have in your life assuming you get into that 80 year old range. This one here at the end of the week on Sunday, that red X will go over and fill that box. I'm not doing this shit for the rest of my fucking life. And you people better not either. When I had the typhoon, I got to be Joe Citizen. I liked it. And I'll discuss that as we move forward. So anyway, here on the SPX, 5,800, 5,800, 5,800. Can't get the fuck out of 5,800? Well, guess what? We got the fuck out of 5,800. Over here on your credit spreads, looking at the week, going back to Friday, where you had the trade of the week prior to me getting whacked by that typhoon and allowing me to be a human being, a regular person. 233%, 233%, 233%, 150% yesterday. Today, I don't have a trade on for today as of a day trade, only because we have had the trade of the month on for the better part of 30 calendar days. Today is that day. Over on the QQQ, oh, get off of this, go back onto reality. 495, 492, 495, 495, minus 1% is at 491. We're already through that. IWM, pay very close attention to how you have not moved anywhere because that's what we're about to go look at over here. So here are your charts. We're coming over onto the charts real quick. 
Here is the SPX coming from the beginning of the month, 57.57, where we opened up at the very beginning of the month and slammed right on down. 56.74, the lows of the month. You don't need to be a mathematician or a rocket scientist to figure it out. 58.78 is the all-time high, the highs of the month. 56.74, the lows of the month. We only have a 204-point range month. So I don't believe it. I won't even act, I won't even think that it's possible unless there is something completely dramatic that takes place that we are going to be breaking down below 5675 today. I don't want to see I I just I I wouldn't even think about that. The focus is on this area here 5766, 5760, 5757 and then you have the top of your gap right over here at 5714. I would not stretch to that, and I will cover a little bit more detail on that in a minute. Here we are with the VIX, finally getting that 2022 yesterday, 2020, as I mentioned, spike gap up above the 2102 problem area. Now we need to see if we can hunt out that 2371 going into the elections. Here is your QQQ. From the close yesterday at 496.38, you are down six, five and a half points so far, down greater than minus 1% because everything is inside of the QQQ. Come over here onto the SPX, going backwards. Your 10-day, your 5-day, and your 20-day. We're opening below the 5,800s. Well, we are currently at minus 5,800. So we are below the 10, 5, 20. 50-day moving average, forget about it. It's way the fuck down here. Ain't even in the picture. So the fact being that now 5,800 can be our resistance area should everything play out correctly. Come over under your IWM, showing you your 100-day and your 200-day moving averages just for visualization. But as you can see here, you're holding 221.41 very strongly. I will make sure that this is showing the after hours. It is not. So we will make a change there. But again, here you are. You're still holding above this gap, the gap from last week, Friday. The gap from the weekend still has not been filled. Come over onto your DIA and DIA, same thing. Make sure that we are showing after hours. We are not. But even here on DIA, little bit of a move down. Little, tiny little bit of a move down. 50-day 50, 50 moving average right there below 420. Nothing aggressive, as you can see. Nothing aggressive on your IWM because everything is inside the QQQ. Here's your Microsoft. Microsoft blows it out of the water, blows it on down through that cluster of multiple moving averages, your 5, your 100, your 10, your 50, your 200, and your 20, all batched in here between 428 and 420, and here you are down at 414. How low can Microsoft go? Well, again, it's been trotting in this area for a, an extended period of time. I wouldn't think that you would see minus 400 on Microsoft. However, why not? Let's see if we can get it. Come on over onto your meta, and again, showing the Moving averages, just for visualization purposes, but the 200-day below 500, your 100-day down over here at 528, and here is your break down to that big fat 565, holding it very strongly, but again, this is why I said I would not sell puts into the earnings because I expected a move to go to the downside. Tonight, we have Apple. I'm not hanging around all night for this tonight. Apple tonight, Amazon tonight. So here, I bring you on to the futures, and as you can see here on the futures, everybody is pointing down, but take note that everybody is ridiculously oversold. So if you don't already have a short position, don't go chasing because you missed the boat. The trade's been there for the better part of a month. Mom, hope you're proud.